grace for today. May the Lord cause his grace to abide in your life in Jesus' name. My name is Damilari Olabisi Ibitoye, the pastor of Global Light Baptist Church, Olorondaba. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you this morning. We are grateful unto you for the opportunity of coming on here to share the word of God. I pray that you will minister life to our souls in Jesus' name. I pray for these ones who are listening to me that we open their hearts to the word of God. Open our understanding to understand what you have for us today. Thank you, Lord, because we have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. I'll be speaking on the topic, Righteousness and National Exhortation. Righteousness and National Exhortation. Our text is taken from Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34. And it reads, Righteousness exhorts a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. The golden text is the same verse that I've just read to our hearing. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Our topic once again is righteousness and national exhortation. If we look at the NLT version of the Bible, it reads, Godliness makes a nation great. Godliness makes a nation great, but a disgrace to any people. Praise the Lord. So many people desire to make speedy progress in life but they lack prerequisite to get to their desired destination. And whenever such people see people who are making progress in all their endeavors, they also desire that they make the same progress, they move forward in life, they attain their desired destination, but they lack prerequisite to get to their desired destination. And I want us to understand that making it in life is not a matter of wishful thinking. It is by following principles. Following the biblical principles of God. So when we talk about righteousness, righteousness is a lifestyle of the kingdom. Righteousness is the nature of God. Righteousness, it is a ladder that you must climb to be exalted, to be great, to make progress, to be successful in life. Righteousness carries you to where God wants you to be because righteousness is the nature of God. Is the lifestyle of the kingdom. And I want us to understand that because righteousness exalts a nation. Failure in righteousness is fail in all. So do you desire to be great and to be exalted and to move forward in life? Righteousness is the answer. Righteousness is the way to get to where God is taking you to. Look at our nation today. We desire to be great. We desire to move forward in life. We desire to, to, to make progress economically, politically, and in all ramifications of life. So this morning, I want to share three things with you. Reasons why you must embrace righteousness. Reasons why you must embrace righteousness.
Number one, righteousness empower you to, to be great. So for you to be great, to be exalted in life, your empowerment depends on the righteousness. Righteousness is not something that you do. It's what is who you are. And righteousness, you can only become righteous when you allow Christ in your life. When you allow God to indwell your life. That is what makes righteousness. And that is what makes someone to be great in life. Look at Psalm 45 verse 7. He said, you love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness, gladness more than your companions. The anointing of God to be great comes over your life. When God sees righteousness in you. If someone desire God wants to make someone to be great in life, what he's looking for is that righteousness trait in your life. And then God will start with you to make you great, to make you successful in life, to exalt you in everything that you do. So it is my prayer for you that you will not miss it at righteousness level. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number two. Your progress in life depends on it. Your progress in all your endeavor as a nation, as an individual in your mar in, in marriage. Our progress depends on the righteousness of God. In Psalm 89 verse 16b. The Bible says that in your righteousness they are exalted. In your righteousness, they are exalted. My viewers, I want you to get this right early in life. Get this one right early in life. Because righteousness will divine your life. Will turn your life around. Will make a difference in your life. You make a difference in your marriage. We make a difference in your, in your in your academics life. We make a difference in everything that you do in life. So your progress depends on it. Why is it that some people are submitted? Why is it that nations, country, they are stagnated? It is because the righteousness is lacking. Look at how injustice. Is over the land, killing of innocent souls, banditry, herdsmen. People are dying like mosquito every day. That is injustice. People will embezzle government money. They will steal government money, and they will still be flying their their abada about. They will still be moving about freely. That is injustice. You don't expect such a nation to move forward. So number three, righteousness endures forever. It's very important for you to know that someone that is living a righteous life is unlimited. He cannot be limited in any way. Because you are making God happy. You possess with the nature of God. So you cannot be limited. And also, you cannot be limited to this world. In Psalm 1, 1, 1 11, verse 3, the Bible says, His work is honorable and glorious, and His righteousness endures forever. His righteousness endures forever. His righteousness endures forever. So, righteousness endures forever. So, your journey is not limited to this world if you are living a righteous life. You are going to enjoy God in this world and you are going to have heaven as your portion. You are going to have eternal life as your portion when you live a righteous life. So your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and your law is truth.
Praise the Lord. So the righteousness, when you have righteousness that is of God, you have righteousness that is of God, it endures forever. My viewer, are you listening to me this morning? Are you living a righteous life? Have you given your life to Jesus? Because Jesus Christ is the righteousness of God. And as many people that accepted him as their Lord and Savior, they have the righteousness of God and then they cannot be limited to this world. So in conclusion, I want to say this morning, I mean this time, that praying for someone to be exalted or praying for a nation to move forward, that is not the correct prayer point. Rather pray for a nation to be righteous and then the exhortation, progress, breakthrough, victory will accompany a life of righteousness. May the Lord help you and I this morning, I mean this time, to be able to live a righteous life so that what God has in plan for your life will come to reality. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Shall we pray together? Father, we thank you this morning for the word of God that you have sent to us loud and clear, calling us to be righteous, challenging us to live a righteous life so that we can get to our desired destination. I pray for someone listening to me that, Lord, you will help them to be able to live a righteous life in Jesus' name. You will help our nation to be able to embrace righteousness. Thank you, Lord, because we have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen.